Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steam Crawley coming in with another video. Today, 6v6 single battle here on Pokemon Sun. Still using the same team I've been using. Haven't made any changes or anything. I probably won't make any changes to the team. I might make a, a new team here shortly. But just going at it with this one. It's been pretty interesting. So go ahead and get into the battle. I don't have much to say. My opponent had a team of Sableye, Snorlax, Scizor, Gastrodon, Hydreigon, and Staraptor. So he did have two of the same Pokemon. And I'm thinking what I wanted to lead here. And I was like, he doesn't have any fire types, so Scizor is a really good lead. Might be able to get the Tailwind up. My Hydreigon's pretty good. I mean, I'll be able to hit the Scizor and his Hydreigon for super effective damage. Basically one-shot both of them. So that's kind of what I'm thinking going in here. And then saying, okay. And then it'll also give me options to set up like a, a sword dance, two sword dances, three sword dances. I want to get really greedy. Just because he doesn't have... I mean, Staraptor is pretty much the only answer he could have to my Scizor. So I do lead my Scizor, and he leads with his Sableye. So immediately I think, okay, well that could be a bit of a problem. Sableye is more of a support Pokemon, so it's most likely going to be carrying Will-O-Wisp, and I don't want to risk my Scizor getting burned. So I go straight into my Arcanine. So, so if he does go for the Will-O-Wisp, I won't be affected. And sure enough, we do see the Will-O-Wisp, so a good read on me. Or uh, by me on my part. And I just go straight for the Flare Blitz here. I am Choice Banned, so I'm thinking this will do quite a bit of damage. And sure enough, uh, he barely holds on with any health. But I do get the burn, so that's really good. I'm really happy. So we do see he is holding the Rocky Helmet. And I take a ton of recoil here. But he gets the knockoff here, and I'm like, dude, you've got to be kidding me. That's a pretty big knockoff, if I say so myself. Uh, really unfortunate for me. But, I mean, he probably wasn't expecting all that damage. But I guess he didn't really have much he could switch into that anyways. So he's going to bring in the Hydreigon. And I don't think my Arcanine is going to be faster than this thing. So I just go into my Hydreigon here. I'm thinking he's going to go for the Earth Power. Because he's like, okay, I mean, Tapu Koko is the obvious answer. So he could just go for the safe Earth Power. But he actually goes for Dark Pulse. Uh, so here I'm like, does is, is he actually even have Earth Power? Or what? So he's going to switch out his Hydreigon into Snorlax. And here I'm like, he has no Fairy-type Pokemon. He does have Scizor, but if he switches in Scizor, I can go for the Flamethrower. So I just go straight for the Z-move here. I'm like, this will pretty much knock out whatever comes in. Or if it doesn't knock it out now, I can just go for a Draco Meteor next turn and pick up the knockout. So, uh, Snorlax is going to come in. And so here I'm like, okay, this should... Snorlax is fat. He, I'm like, okay, well, he's probably going to be holding the Berry. So that's why he brought it in, but that that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. So I'm like, is this bad boy a salt vest? He's got to be a salt vest. There is no way that is not a salt vest. So I bring in my Tangerith here. So sure enough, we do see a physical type move. So I'm going to eat that up. Delicious, nutritious. So at this point, if I switch out, I'm going to get back up to full health. So here I'm like, okay, I don't know what, exactly what I want to go for. I decide my best move is going to be the knockoff, and he is going to bring in his scissor. So I'm going to knock off its item here, and it does knock off nothing. So I'm like, okay, great, this is going to be a mega scissor. So a uh, bit of a problem here, uh, since it's probably going to have super effective bug. So I'm going to go into my Arcanine. It's going to be a good counter. Unfortunately, I've already lost half my health. But a Flare Blitz will definitely do the trick, and we're going to lower its attack by one. So sure enough, it is going to be a Mega Scizor. So a bit of a problem. I don't, I'm don't. i not too familiar. I don't really know. I forgot a whole bunch of stuff about Mega Evolution. But I, he's going to go for the U-turn, and that's going to do nothing. So a good switch, but it's going to give him switch initiative. So a Gashon would be a good switch in here. But he actually goes into his Hydreigon. So... Here I'm like, okay, well, he, maybe last time he was predicting the switch, so he, that's why he went for the Dark Pulse instead of the Earth Power. So I go into my Scizor here. I'm like, okay, he's probably going to go for a an Earth Power. If he does go for the Dark Pulse, it's going to be resisted. But I actually don't know why I thought that Bug resisted Dark. So otherwise I would have just switched into my Tapu Koko. So I just let my Scizor go down for free here since I don't really have a switch in. So unfortunate, no Tailwind's going to get up. 
But I, instead of going for Bolt Punch, I'm like, eh, I may as well just go for the Tailwind in case he decides to switch out. But maybe Bolt Punch would have been the better option there. Would have probably done like 30%. He'd be below 50% right now. But I bring in my Tapu Koko. He's going to switch out. The obvious choice is going to be the Gastrodon. So I do have three electric type moves, so it is a good pick, but I do get still get off a Dazzling Gleam. It's going to 20-25%, not, nothing too bad. We are going to see the leftovers. Chances are it has Recover as well. But Tangra should be able to one-shot this thing with a Vine or Power Whip. So I'm going to switch out. I go into my Tangrowth. I'm going to resist both stabs. Uh, and I don't expect Gastron to have good special attack. So yeah, we are going to eat that up really nicely. So here I'm still with the predicament. Do I go for... Or do I predict a switch? Do I go for a, a power whip? Do I go for a knockoff? What do I do? Because uh, he could just easily bring in the scissor. Which completely walls this thing. I do have Ancient Power, though, so I can at least hit it for neutral damage. So I bring in Arcanine here, thinking he's going to switch in his Scizor. So unfortunately, I do move first, so I'm not going to be able to get an Intimidate off if the Scizor does come in. We do see a switch, but he actually goes into his Hydreigon here, which I found interesting. Uh, the shame I didn't go for the knockoff. It would be nice to get the, the Life Orb off this thing, but now I have to switch. So I just go into my Tapu Koko. Easily be able to one-shot this thing. Or finish it off, I should say. We do see the Dark Pulse. So here I'm like, okay, I, I don't really, I don't think he has Earth Power. Then that actually did a lot. I was really surprised at how much that uh, did. So I'm thinking maybe he's gonna be modest nature. I don't know the calc, but that was a lot of damage. So he's gonna bring in a Scizor here, uh, fully predicting the Dazzling Gleam. I could have gone for the Volt Switch, try to get some Switch Initiative, but I was like, eh. I, I, if he brings in a Scizor, I can easily just or whatever he brings in. I ha pretty much have an answer to. So I go, I switch out, I go into my Arcanine. He's probably going to go for a bullet punch here. So I do get the Intimidate off. And I'm going to be able to eat this up pretty nicely. Hopefully. So from 72 to 50. So definitely we can take one more, probably even two more. So he's going to switch out into Gastrodon. So I went for the close combat. I was thinking he's going to switch out. And ooh, with that damage, I don't know if that was a high roll, if that was a low roll. I don't know if another one will do the trick and pick up the knockout. So if I did have the choice band, this thing would be gone. Uh, there, the extra damage would have been more than enough. So I don't want to risk it. Arcanine's too important, but mainly for that scissor. So I'm going to bring in my Tangrowth here. And he's going to pull a double switch as well. He might have thought that that was going to pick up the knockout. So he's going to bring in his scissor, and I was like, oh man, if I stayed in, that would have been amazing. But So I'm going to switch out my Tangrowth now. I'm going to go back into Arcanine. Arcanine slowly getting whittled, chipped away. I mean, turn one, I lost over half my health, so unfortunate. So he is going to go for the U-turn here, get the switch initiative. Take me So from 50 to 25, so one more might take me out. And we're going to see the Hydreigon come back in. So, I'm forced to switch out here. I still need to keep my Arcanine around. It's going to be my main way of getting rid of his Scizor, or dealing with his Scizor in general. So I bring in my Hydreigon. I'm thinking he's going to go for a Dark-type move. That's all we've seen from this guy. So, sure enough, uh, that, is, that does about 50% of my remaining health. A lot of damage, for, for sure. So I'm thinking there's no way he's going to be max speed. So I stay in. That's the main reason I brought it in. There's no way he's going to be max speed. So he's going to bring in his Snorlax. I get a Draco Meteor off, which is fine. I mean, I don't want Hydreigons in against this thing anyway, so the special attack drop's not going to matter all that much. That's, I mean, I feel like that Draco Meteor did just as much as the Z-Move did. But I'm going to switch out here, and I bring in Tangrowth. My physical wall, easily be able to eat up a move from this thing. So uh, with that damage... A switch or regenerator will bring me back up to full health. So here I'm like, should I go for power whip? What should I go for? I end up going for the power whip. I was like, eh. If he goes in the scissor, there's no point in going for the knockoff. And then I actually picked up the knockout, which I was really surprised about. So maybe it was assault vest, or at least just full special defense. Because I felt like that was 
pretty that was like a pretty easy knockout. So the Straptor is gonna come in and he's gonna go for the U-turn. Here I'm like, I don't really have anything that I can switch in. So I didn't do too much damage. It wasn't stab only in base 70. So he's got two U-turn users. So he's gonna bring in a scissor here. And I went for the knockoff because I wanted to knock off the item. I wanted to see what it had. It might be a choice. Because we didn't see, we've already seen Life Orb, and I don't know. It might be a Z move as well, I don't know. But here, I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to go in my Arcanine, get the Intimidate off, and then resist potential bug type move. So we do see a Roost, actually. So uh, that's actually really good for me. I mean, it was a pretty much a free switch in, because the full health doesn't matter. A, a Flare Blitz will do the trick. So I, here it kind of comes down to a... I thought he was going to switch out here. I was debating what I wanted to do. He goes for the Bolt Punch. I actually live on two. And I was predicting the switch in the Gastrodon. So that's why I went for the Close Combat. Unfortunate, I could have picked up the Knockout there with the Flare Blitz. And this thing would have been out of the way. That would have been huge. But... Uh, a good... I mean, my opponent took the risk. I, I didn't think he would take the risk. But... Uh, he did, so Arcanine is going down. Uh, Scizor is still at minus one. So I feel I can feel a lot safer about bringing in my Hydreigon here. Because Bolt Punch definitely won't, won't knock me out. And I do have Flamethrower. So he is going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Gastrodon. At this point, that's fine. Uh, I, I go for the Flamethrower. I'm going to be resisted. So... Here, I didn't know how much a Draco Meteor would do. I remember I was getting the damage mixed up with... I was thinking Arcanine's close combat from earlier was was my Hydreigon's Draco Meteor onto this thing. So I thought that one more wouldn't do the trick. I don't know if this thing... If it was physically or especially defensive. But I ended up going into my Slowking. I'm like, this Slowking's not going to be that big of a deal. It's not really doing that much. She has no fighting types. Uh, again, Hydreigon could one-shot me. So we both switch. She goes into his Scizor. He's going to go for a U-turn, and he's almost going to knock me out. But <clears throat> it's going to give me the option to get off an attack here. So he goes into Hydreigon, and I ended up going for Scald, since I just wanted to try and get the burn on Scizor. It, it would have been huge. I, I guess I could have predicted the Hydreigon switch and gone for the Ice Beam, because Ice Beam still would have been neutral, but I just wanted to get the burn on Scizor. But I forgot that it's only Bug-type moves probably going to be u turn so it wouldn't have stayed in anyways. So he's going to go for the Dark Pulse. I'm just going to let him get it off. Uh, Slow King wasn't that good in this matchup. And Hydreigon's slowly going down to the Life Orb. But at this point, it doesn't matter because a Draco Meteor for my Hydreigon and a Dazzling Gleam would probably one shot, even if he was at full health. So I remember here he took a long time to decide if he wanted to stay in. But I was confident. I'm like, I'm max speed. So I definitely want to stay in here. So I do pick up the knockout. So that's a, a big knockout. This thing was threatening a ton of damage to my team. So he's going to bring in Staraptor. My, I think Staraptor gets access to close combat, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to switch out, and I go into my Tangeroth physical wall. See what I can eat up here. So we see a U-turn, which I guess is also super effective against Hydreigon. So it's going to do very little damage. I mean, at this point, Regenerator will heal me back up. And he's going to bring in his Scizor. So uh, at this point, I mean, his U-turn is not going to knock me out, but there's not much I can do to him in return. So uh, I decided to stay in, and he goes for a U-turn. Still doesn't do that much, only like 40%. I thought it would do a lot more. But he's going to go end up going in the Gastron, and I was like, oh man, if only I went for... I mean, I at this point, I didn't realize it, but I should have realized that U-Turn was his only Bug-type move, so he wasn't going to stay in. So I just wanted to get the neutral damage off on his Scizor. I missed out. So uh, I had the option. I had a big opportunity there. I could have predicted the... I mean, I guess it was like a 50-50 predict if you wanted the Staraptor or Gastrodon. So he's going to switch out. He's going to go back in the Scizor. And I go for the Power Whip. So a uh, big missed opportunity. But I still get a little bit of chip damage. Not like it matters. A Flamethrower gets rid of this thing. That's my only way of getting rid of it at this point. 
So, at this point, it's kind of like a rock. I have Tapu Koko that can take care of Astraptor. Hydreigon can take care of Scizor. And Tingrowth can take care of Gastronon. But it's just all about how I play him. So, I go into my Tapu Koko here. I'm thinking he's going to go for a Bug type move. But he actually goes for a Bullet Punch. So he actually, he had to have predicted me there because there was no reason for him to go for bullet punch. What's if he didn't, I guess what's if he didn't want to switch out and he just wanted to stay in, but that's a huge, that was huge right there. Uh, pretty much a free knockout for him. Because I was going to try and go for a thunderbolt or at least a thunder wave. So he, he's going to stay in and go for the bullet punch. I am going to survive and I do get the flamethrower off. So this thing's going to be taken care of. But Tapu Koko going down was pretty big because now I have nothing to to deal with this Staraptor, because Hydreigon and Tangrowth... Hydreigon's too slow, and Tangrowth is weak. So, uh, we do see a Brave Bird here, so uh, that's going to knock me out pretty easy. Just about anything would have knocked me out there. And then, all I have left here is my Tangrowth. So, I don't know what this thing was holding. It might have been Choice Band. I never got really the opportunity to see so uh, i mean based on this brave bird damage right here it might have been choice band but i mean it is base 120 and it could have been like an adamant one but that's gonna be enough to pick up the knockout so uh, tapu coco i needed tapu coco to to take care of the Staraptor. but the only thing i really could have done i mean if I, I mean there was i mean him going for that bullet punch was pretty big if he went for the U-turn, I would have resisted it with Tapu Koko, and then he would have been forced to go into his Gastrodon, and then my Tapu Koko. So, I don't know. It would have been... I just needed Tangrowth. I wanted Tangrowth to survive a little bit longer, so I wanted to get that Regenerator build. And then if he went in the Gastrodon, I could have brought back in Tangrowth and whatever, but... I don't really know if there was too much there I could have done at the end. Him getting that... The knockoff onto Arcanine at the beginning was huge. That actually that changed the game because I wasn't able to pick up the knock it on Gastrodon earlier. So and even though he did knock me off with Arcanine, knowing now I would have just stayed in and gone for the close combat. And I lost Scizor way too easily. I thought that Bug resisted uh, Dark, but it does not. It's only super effective against it. So losing Scizor for free was pretty huge. Because I never got to get the uh, tailwind set up, which would have been nice conditions for a sweep. But uh, I mean, I, my opponent made some mistakes too. I mean, I got lucky as well, so no complaining. Just analysis of what I could have done better. Uh, turn one was really good. It's just, and then once I got, uh, once he survived the flare blitz and hit me with the knockoff, that was huge. I mean, he got burned, which is unfortunate as well. Because chances are Sableye was going to have recover anyways, or recover. So if I didn't pick up the knockout there, he might have been able to recover a lot of that health back up later down the road. But good game to my opponent. Uh, that Hydreigon really rocked me. I mean, Life Orb. Some resisted hits with Life Orb. Like 50% on top of Coco was pretty big. But good game. I learned a lot of things. I mean, I've learned a lot about my team as well. Some of the flaws it has. But good game to my opponent. I really, I had a lot of fun with this one. So that's pretty much all I got to say. If you guys have any suggestions for me, feel free to let me know if you want to battle me. Whether it's singles, whether it's doubles, whether it's battle spots, sing battle spots, singles, whatever it is, feel free to let me know. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.